it's your move. If you remember in this, uh, again, reflecting the times ironically, you know, we, we tried, because of the times, what we tried to do was come up with a show, come up with a premise that really, we really wanted to do the opposite of what was popular. I, uh, that's another th thing that I'm known for. When the world marches in this direction, instinctively I go in this direction. Um, I, at this point, a lot of the, you know, the, the Lear type morality plays, you know, were, that was over, that year it was over. And we were all surfing the crest of the wave of Cosby. And all of the shows as we go, and I didn't have a problem with Cosby. I think there's a, you know, there, there's an idea out there that I did not like Bill Cosby, which is the Bill Cosby show, which is actually not true. What I did not like were shows that were trying to be the Bill Cosby show. And as you, you know, as you know, television being somewhat imitative at the time, they weren't hearing anything um, but networks, but shows that were like the Bill Cosby show, because that's what everyone wanted. They wanted to hit like Bill Cosby. Um, we, in development then, you know, knew what we had to do was try to do a show that was sort of unlike Bill Cosby. You will hear this again when it comes to It's Your Move. I mean, uh, Married with Children. And so what we wanted to do, um, so we tried to develop a show where the child in the show, where the kid in the show was, had his parents basically wrapped around their finger. This wasn't going to be a show like Cosby where, you know, the parents, of course, know everything that the kids may try to fool them, but in the end, you know, the parents know, and, and, and we got you. Don't you know at one time we were your age? And, we, you know, every once in a while you run into a kid who is actually, you know, a born con man and really can pull the wool over, you know, the parents' eyes. We wanted to do a show about that kid. And we remember from Silver Spoons um, a, 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 a kid named Jason Bateman, you know, from Silver Spoons, who we thought natural, had that natural ability, you know, to, he could play that character, he could be that guy. And so we did a show about a kid who basically ran his high school not through thuggery, but by the fact that he actually was pretty much a genius. He might not have been a genius um, all A's, but I mean, clearly this kid was going to be a politician. Clearly this kid, when he grew up, was going to be a senator. Because by the time he was done manipulating, you know, and having kids work for him, you know, he could do whatever he wanted. I mean, yeah, he could have all A's. He could also have his principal's driver's license suspended. I mean, he could do things. I mean, he could just sit back in his chair, <laughs> from his chair, and basically be the godfather without any guns, without any threats, without any blood. He was just, he was that kid. Um, and that was sort of the seed of It's Your Move. And we gave him, you know, a mother that he doted over, you know, a single mom you know, that uh, he would dote over and protect and she need, because she did need that in his mind. Um, the hook was that the guy that moved across the hall from his mother was a, an adult version of what that kid used to be. You know, he had the same kind, he had that same kind of mind. And also, you know, and liked his mom. You know, and wanted a uh, relationship with his mom, which was just what made the kid crazy. You know, and it was just sort of a battle of wits between you know a 12-year-old and you know and a 30-year-old, you know, over the affections of mom and their the ba basic abuse of each other. You know, um, and 
it was a very tough show to write because we had to constantly have these guys, you know, try to outwit each other. So it was one of these where you almost would write backwards, you know, we write from the resolution, you know, who won that week, and then say, you know, write it, write it backwards. Um, it pro I, up to that point, it was, you know, the uh, my favorite show that I, I I had ever done. You know, a lot more work went into it than normally because a lot of the story twists and turns had to w a lot more complex. Um, but it was, you know, it was my favorite. During the ta um, the casting of that show, by the way, is when we first ran into David Garrison, um, who was phenomenal. You know, he played the love interest. He played the quote, J you know, the the a grown up con man across the hall.